Okay, guys, I give you the trophy in the dressing room. They're having a clean match. Good luck and God bless you. Commentary for this fight comes from Jim Watt and Nick Hawley. So here we go. Ricky Burns once more into the hot seat. And this one could be boiled down very simply. This could be a battle of skill versus will. Crawford so slick. He's the man with the skill. But the heart and the hunger and the desire and the bravery and all those other qualities we've seen in Ricky Burns belong in the champion's corner. And you can be sure that Burns will be looking to test this man's heart as much as anything. Word out of the Crawford camp was that their man tends to start slowly and build up ahead of steam. That could be a red herring, because as you say, Jim, you look at his card, you look at his record, you can barely find any rounds he's lost. Yeah, well, if he starts slowly, he certainly doesn't take punches in the early rounds, he he's clever. So this is uh, the first look at him in the flesh. So you can see already he's slick, good. Burns getting the jab off nice and quickly. He's trying to work out the range at the moment, not committing himself quite right. The right hand blocked off there as well. Burns looking to throw it. Crawford saw him coming. Crawford just a little bit tentative with his own jab at the moment. He's looking for range finders at the moment. Nice little right hand to the body there from Burns. Luke looking for another one. And that's the thing, even though that second one missed, listen to the reaction from the crowd. See, when you have an opponent travelling halfway across the world, you don't want him to gain his confidence, you want to go on his case as soon as you can. And Ricky's just done that with that right hand, that was clever, a good stuff from, from Crawford there. Yeah, fast hands, switch the point of attack very quickly indeed. Oh, a good left kick to it, and he's a, quick. And a right to the body as well, and Crawford is starting to settle down here. Ricky's holding up close. A little bit of the elbow, the, the forearm, so that's good. He gets an early warning if he does it again. We can see points coming off. And the referee letting both fighters know that he is in charge of this one. Well, the two little bust there from Crawford is the best work we've seen in this round so far. Following that good right hand from Burns, as he's worked on a right hand as well. Yeah, Crawford is quick as we thought he would be. Yeah, this is no surprise. But Burns looking to get that jab going. And Crawford replying, and with interest as well. Oh, that's nice. Sharp from the American. Yeah, that was flashy work. Uh, this is clever stuff. Leading with the uppercut, now that takes confidence. Burns landing a long right hand. The feet slipped a little bit from Crawford, but he wasn't hurt. But Burns keeping his jab going as well, having some success with it. Well, the good thing about the jab is stopping Crawford from setting anything up. And just look at the stance Crawford is in. Southpaw stance. We've seen this before from Crawford. He's happy to switch here. That turns just out of range at the moment. About, you know, flashy bursts from Crawford midway through the round, maybe just been enough to steal it. Not an awful lot happened in the opener. And Ricky Burns will be just happy to get that first round underway because for all the sparring you do, and he's had real good quality sparring. You've heard Luke Campbell's been in with him, Kevin Mitchell. He had a wonderful week down in Essex at the Tony Sims gym. And he finished off up here with Lee Selby, who is sitting ringside to support him. They've become good mates. Talking of good mates, he's worked with David Brophy. They've often been sparring partners together. Tyrone Nurse has been very involved as well. And he's brought a strength and conditioning coach into the uh, into the into the uh, mix as well, Ricky. You know, I don't see this South Post stance as an advantage uh, to Crawford. I don't think he looks all that comfortable with it. Hasn't done anything. I wonder. I mean, who is confusing? This is better from Burns. Most of the work we're seeing is out of range from both men. But no, I don't know that I fancy Crawford as a southpaw. Yeah, moving very well, but just not throwing very much. And when he does, he's out of range. Trying to land a counter there, that missed. So both of them trying to lock and load here.
Burns out of range again. He is tough to tag cleanly, Crawford. And once again, Burns launches in, but there's nothing there. Yeah, Burns is kind of reaching with his punches, but there's not much coming back from Crawford. He's taking his time here. I mean, they're boxing away from home, you know, you don't want too many close rounds and there's nothing to split them so far in this one. And Crawford being very circumspect in this round. And still staying in the southpaw stance as well. Nice, nice from right Burns. Hand. Yeah, the crowd spotted that and liked it. Punch of the round so far, and there haven't been too many landing, and Crawford finds his attack blocked off. Well, I don't know that uh, Crawford has lived up to the hype quite so far, I know it's early days as yet. But not this is good stuff from Burns. Struggling to find the range, Burns, but there's nothing come back from Crawford here. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Neither man is having an awful lot of success, because Burns is launching in, got through that time with the jab. But Burns certainly busier. But very, very few punches landing cleanly from either man. And Crawford really just drifting through this round. Oh, Ricky's got his jab working there, that was good. I'm surprised that uh, Crawford has stuck with this southpaw stance. I don't see that he uses it as an advantage in the slightest to what did come from Burns. And that was interesting what Billy Nelson, Ricky Burns' trainer there, said, speed kills and you're faster than him. And now he's switched out, at least for now, out of the southpaw stance, because that was one of the, re the, the scouting reports on Terence Crawford, that he was fast and going to be faster than Burns. Nice shot again from Burns. That's the second again. warning for Crawford, so the referee's on his case, which is good news. And he reacted like that to being caught by a right hand from Burns. And again, nice left, left this time. And once again, Crawford, when they tie up, gets a flurry of punches going, but a lot of them around the back of the head. See, the trick for Burns is not to throw single punches against a counter-puncher. You've got to put them together, and as he's trying to counter, then you're going to catch him with the second or the third. So that was clever stuff, the jab working well too yeah, for that Burns. Was, that was a clever jab right there. A little yeah. grin on uh, Burns' face there. Crawford back Getting in south. Confidence. Crawford back in southpaw. Look to land a left of the body there that Burns blocked off. Yeah, a lot of upper body movement from Crawford. There's always something going on, but... There's no end product, or very little end product. And no end product there from Burns, as Crawford was too slick for him. And Burns this time finding his punches blocked off. A lot of uh, a lot of work being neutralised for both fellas here. You know, I would have expected when Ricky missed as wildly as that, he would have been punished for it. Uh, so as I was saying, I'm just wondering if the reputation that Crawford brings over is maybe what people think he can do as opposed to what he's actually been doing. But nothing fearsome about his technique from what we've seen so far. A lot of missing, but uh, Burns is working that little bit harder. And Crawford not putting on the kind of dazzling performance we were expecting, that's for sure. Got caught there, though, Burns. Crawford just saying, come on in so that I can count here, and Burns showing patience, getting out of the way, not being drawn into Crawford's game. Okay, to miss there, though. Caught him with a left hook on as they, as they held. Not easy rounds to score these, because there's so many punches from both men missing. Yep, there's so much missing, they're both missing. Uh, Crawford has dug in a couple of short counter punches. I mean, he's certainly... Neither man taking the fight by the scruff of the neck. Burns is trying to get some control, whereas Crawford is doing the fancy, the slick stuff. It's happened. So hopefully we start seeing a little bit more quality from these guys. Well, I thought Burns edged the second, but as much as he was pressing, as you say, Jim, 
didn't land anything of any real meaning in that third round and Crawford when he landed which wasn't that often it did catch the eye a little bit more so Burns still playing this waiting game not getting drawn into the counter punches game and Crawford staying with that southpaw stance still Well, if I was in Crawford's corner, I'd be telling him this is not the way you win world titles abroad. He's not doing enough. Nice. Good right hand. Good right hand. Single punch, though. And Crawford comes looking for him again. And when Burns has landed, Crawford's always looked for a response. And it's Crawford that's coming up with a response here. And getting through. And Burns is backed up for the first time in the fight. And they he targeted where that broken jaw was there. Crawford with a left hook. And Burns shaken up and getting punched around the ropes here. And then he digs in, but that was a really good spell for, for the American. But Burns comes back at him. And if Crawford thinks he's going to win this by one sustained assault, he's got news coming to him. Well, there's certainly a big improvement in the visitor's work there, forcing Ricky to cover up. Yeah, now we're seeing a bit, a bit of ambition from Crawford. This is much better. Crawford binding his time, biding his time. And you just remember that fight not so long ago up here against uh, Jose Gonzalez when Burns lost six of the first seven rounds. He still came back and found a way to win. He's just not finding the range at the moment, Burns. I, w I wonder if the, this south post stance, I wonder maybe if they've prepared for a switch hitter or not. I still think Crawford is a better orthodox, but he's obviously posing problems for Burns. Burns not coping with the southpaw stance all that well. I'm pretty sure they did prepare for a switch hitter. There's enough film out there of Crawford boxing out of Southport. Well, all the sparring partners I heard there, Ricky's camp talking about, were orthodox, so I don't know. Luke Campbell. Keeping the jab going here, Burns. Well, it's that assault in the middle of this round that I think the judges might remember when the bell goes at the end of this one and again. Yep. The jabs of Burns, too many of them just getting blocked off. Be interesting to see what would happen if Burns was to really go through the gears here, see if Crawford could go with him, because he obviously likes to fight in bursts at his own pace, the American. Burns needs to get him out of that comfort zone. through there, Burns. So I think Burns wants to you know, be putting punches together, single shots. You can't really expect to catch this fellow with it. The good news is that uh, he's not hanging around for any counters. Oh, so with a right-hand counter there, Burns. Crawford walked onto that, got caught again. This is better from Burns, and Crawford comes in and looks to attack the body and gets... Gets swatted for his pains. Burns standing with him. And that's knocked him out of, out of Southport. And here he comes again. Looking for the big assault on the ropes. Not doing an awful lot of damage there, but Burns has got to try and find something to come back with. Again, I see him as more impressive from the orthodox stance. Crawford. Look, he's given as good as he's getting at the moment. And unloading here, though, Crawford. And again, with how much success. Burns doing a pretty good job covering up there. Crawford is looking the busier at the moment, though. Yeah, that attack from Burns has sprung him into action, but can he stay busy? He slipped inside that right hand. Didn't come out of nowhere, Terence Crawford was a very decent amateur, has wins over Danny Garcia and Mikey Garcia, amongst others. He's on the fringe of the Olympic picture as well. Quite the quality we expected to see, you know, a lot of punches missed, a lot of untidy clinching after they've missed. Not really putting their stamp on this as yet. 
it's another warning to the visitor so well he must be close to getting a point removed a yeah, nice fake with the eyes there that was really clever that from Crawford and he's got him in trouble here I wonder if Ricky has confidence in his chin the way he covers up like that you know really there are times when they should be letting punches go these little eye catching bus could be stealing it but Jim, you go back, to, go back to that oh, assault from here, Crawford Robert. as he continues it here. He looked down at Burns' body and then switched it as he was looking down to go upstairs, and Burns didn't expect it. And again, Burns loading up and missing, and Crawford, Crawford is edging his way ahead here, yeah, noticeably the, now. The impressive stuff in this round has come from Crawford, not a lot of it. Say Ricky Burns boxed in the Sims gym, doing some sparring with Kevin Mitchell and others. And uh, Billy was big enough to say, I want an extra pair of eyes in here with me, Tony. Would you come and join me? And Tony was happy to do so. Uh, just signs, and they're increasing signs now that, that Crawford is, is starting to get comfortable in there. And Burns needs to knock him out of that. His body shot wasn't the best, but he's still a bit wild here, Burns. He needs to put punches together, he needs to try and shorten his punches a little bit. Just not count his heels there, more balanced than anything else. But Crawford with a really nice uppercut got in there, testing that jaw again. He was short there. Some eye damage, the right eye for Burns. Fast hands again, switching from body to head and back again from Crawford. And again, Ricky's looking a little bit uncomfortable in these exchanges. That was used to seeing Ricky Burns taking the fight to opponents and putting it on them. We're not seeing it tonight yet. And there is confidence growing from Terence Crawford. You can sense it, you can hear it in his corner as well. They think, and that's really good work from the American. Yeah, good body shot to finish that little burst off from Crawford. And Crawford's looking the confident one at the moment. He's looking the governor right now. And there's less and less coming back from Ricky Burns. And Crawford has him pinned up against the ropes again, looking for the holes in the defence. Nice uppercut in there again. That's a couple of those that uh, Ricky Burns has taken in this round. I mean, Ricky has always had so much confidence in his punch resistance. I just wonder if it's missing at the moment. I mean, that was a horrendous injury and he's, he's getting, come back from. Getting tagged cleanly far too often for this crowd's liking. And Crawford just looks so relaxed now. And he's bossing this, Jim. The punches are flowing. He's right up on the balls of his feet, and he's exactly where he wants to be right now, Terence Crawford. Well, a couple of rounds that were difficult to score, but this one hasn't been. Crawford definitely has looked the boss here. Back in the southpaw. Switching again. Daring Burns to come in. Burns not buying it. So back he comes out into orthodox and then nothing happens. Burns digging in deep, and there was a clash of heads there right on the bell, but I don't think Crawford's too bothered about that either. <laughs> Round seven. Burns slipping behind. Needs to start mounting a comeback here. Nice left hook from Burns, close in. He has to try to put punches together, you know, feeding with this jab and trying to stay out of range at the same time. He's got to commit himself when he lets punches go, you know, he's trying to get the punches off and get himself out of there. He's got to commit himself a bit more. And Crawford starting to use that reach as well. Again, well that's the second warning well, yeah. for the forearm, so one more, we'll see a point coming away. He's been one for a few different things, but that's the, the second time about the forearm. And now he's looking at the referee cross if they holding. Burns has to Burns follow falling. with the right hand. Yeah, the jab's falling short as well. And 
And it's going to take more than a single punch to put this fella on the floor as well. Burns has really got to put some kind of stained attack together. The sort of attacks that we see coming every round from Terence Crawford. I mean, this cup defends against the ropes. He was doing that against Beltran, but that was because of the broken jaw. I just wonder if he doesn't have the confidence in that jaw now. I mean, he really, at times, is looking uncomfortable. The more uncomfortable Burns looks, the happier Terence Crawford looks, and he's just teeing off pretty much as he wants. Working head and body. That gap between them is just getting wider and wider, and that summed it up for Burns, miles away with a right hand. A bit of blood coming from the nose of the Scot. Looks like another night, Jim, when Ricky Burns is going to come, have to come from a long way back if he wants to hang on to this belt. It's just a lack of confidence in his work that's worrying me. I mean, falling behind in points, I expected him to do that against this fellow. The fellow is not as good as I expected him to be. But uh, Ricky doesn't have the confidence, and he's not given it ever the way we're used to seeing him doing. Just walked right on to one there. see the Crawford jab getting through the guard but so often the Burns jab is blocked off and there's a little cuffing right hand as well for his pains and Burns I think felt that again no, Burns is backing off every time he takes a shot I don't want to go on about this jaw of his but I mean he's taking punches not full full blooded shots but he's backing away from it and then this going on to the ropes with the hands up I mean that's just saying to the judges give that round to Crawford Crawford is pretty scary if you're a Ricky Burns supporter he was up off his stool early just ready to go back to work this is how I mean he, you look at the tape this is how he wins so many of his fights he just gets his opponent under con, under control and just pecks away at him you know I'm wondering is Ricky worried about the jaw or is he in pain with the jaw I mean he has a titanium plate in there and I'm sure it's not medical advice to go out and get a jaw punched that has a titanium oh, that was a nice left hand from, better, though. from Burns but look it made no impression on Crawford who came straight back at him and work in the body here Crawford that's a really good response from the American but backing up the way Ricky's doing here and just putting his hands up his back to the ropes it's inviting the well, that's a really good left hook from Crawford and Burns is hurt again switching to the body Burns covering up but it is enough getting through here. Sickening punches from Crawford. And that, Burns in trouble on the ropes. Now, this is not Ricky Burns, there's something wrong. I, I say I wouldn't go on about the job, but there's something really missing here from Ricky Burns, and I can only imagine he's in pain here. Look at the way he's covering up, he's not thinking about offence. He's allowing the initiative to be taken away from him. This is the way he fought against Beltran when the jaw was broken. So brave. Well, nobody ever questioned his bravery. Really tough, tough guy. But Crawford has been sticking it to him a bit in these last few rounds. And the most worrying thing for me is he landed that really good left hand burns and look what he got back from Crawford. And look how long Ricky's taken here without throwing a punch. It's just a lack of confidence, a lack of commitment, and that is not Ricky Burns. Crawford in that southpaw stance, the hands have dropped. Again, just saying to Ricky Burns, come and have a go. And those punches, so many have fallen short from Burns. Got a body shot in there and got out of trouble. Right there, doubling up with the left hand again. From Crawford, switch from body to head again. And now the jab starting to flow. Yeah, Rick is just forcing his boxing. You know, there, there, there's no technique, a rhythm about what he's doing, and he's throwing the punches out, but not committing himself to them. So they're falling short, and he's leaving himself open to the counters has to get in closer and shorten the punches. Crawford swaggering out of range there. If you're worried about the counter, get up close. There, a lovely counter from Crawford there. 
round nine. It was at the end of round nine that Jose Gonzalez finally decided he'd had enough against Ricky Burns, but there is no suggestion at all so far that Terence Crawford has had enough, far from it. There's a bit of commitment now from Ricky. I think he's been sent out to make some sort of impression. What he's doing is not working, it's not going to start working. He's the one who has to change here. Well, he's got Ahead. to find something, and he is so tough. But I can't think of one occasion in this fight where Ricky Burns has visibly hurt Terence Crawford. And you can think of plenty where it's the other way around. Listen to these fans. Unbelievable support for Ricky Burns. Now, where is the charge that we expect from Ricky Burns? Punches round behind the back, not on the target. Faded out again after that, that early burst. And once again, he's allowing Crawford just to dictate the terms. Not everything landing, but he's just keeping Burns off balance and out of range. Burns looks to land an inside right hook there. Just grimaced as they as they came together there as well. And he's short again with that jab. And again. And the Americans pace as well at the moment. He's up close there, but not really getting the punches off. Well, we always see a response from Crawford when Burns does land something, and we're seeing a response just as you said that as well, Jim. Once again, some left hooks just to test that jaw where it was broken. We've seen that consistently from the American. Yeah, and again, Ricky got into a shell. And allowing Crawford to look the busier. Not a lot in this round. I mean, Crawford hasn't quite dominated here. But Good uppercut from Burns. But he was taking some punishment when he landed it. Goes for the big swinging left hand that they enjoyed from the back of the hall, but it missed. So did the follow up. And Crawford is not missing, and Burns backing up once again. And how many times have we seen this? The guard up against the ropes, and then he comes out again, swinging, hoping to land something. Gutsy effort again from Ricky Burns. Ready for more, the man from Nebraska. See, Burns. but this time that you want to see a dent in the visitor, you want to see, you know. His confidence has been dented, but it's quite the opposite. Ricky yeah, has that, never been able to do that. And that's, that's turning into a landslide if your card is accurate. The last round was closer. Ricky did a little bit better, but uh, try to score with my, my, my head rather than my heart. You know, the good punches are still coming from the challenger. And once again, a little ticking off for Terence Crawford. I mean, I'm in two minds about Crawford for what we've seen here. As you say, I mean, he was built up. Everybody built him up as, as potentially the next big thing in the division. But I think he's pretty slick and smooth. And I think if he does win this title, he can go up a whole new level from here. Well, I think he would have to, Nick, because I'm not all that impressed, to be honest with, with him. I think the best of Ricky Burns, the Ricky Burns that beat Katsidis and the Kevin Mitchell, I'm sure would have handled this guy. But Nicky, uh, Ricky is holding back something. This is better this round, he's on the front foot. But again, he's still struggling to land anything clean. Crawford doing a very nice job of looking after himself. That was better. He has to bring the right hand into play. But he's too easily forced onto the defensive. Too easily forced into that shell that he keeps going into. And it's Crawford that puts him there, though. Every time Burns does land something, Crawford puts him in his place. Burns just can't get on top in this one. Oh, 
the, the, the crowd are trying to, to lift him. Not a lot in this round. A lot out of range again from Crawford. He's on uh, Ricky's case now, the, the referee. Crawford's taking a breather in this round, Nick. Oh, good shot there from him, though. Yeah, even taking a breather. Oh, that was a nice right hand from Burns, but once again, it's Crawford woken up. See, it's the way that Ricky's forced on the defensive every time he takes a punch. We're used to see him taking a shot and coming through it. Oh, he got caught Burns. badly there as well, Burns. He sold out and got caught on the counter. going to take an awful lot to put Ricky Burns out of this one, never been stopped. And how many times has he had to climb off the floor? Remember that amazing fight with Carl Johansson. And a big grin from Ricky Burns at the end of that one. Crawford's not smiling. And I'm not sure what Ricky Burns has got to smile about. Tough, tough night. Round 11. If Crawford is going to fade, it's going to be late and dramatic. And surely Burns has just got to try and find out how much has he got left in the tank. You heard what Billy Nelson and Dave Coldwell were saying. If he is running on empty, you've got to force him off the road. Yeah, well, he took a breather in the previous round, uh, Crawford, but maybe he feels he can afford to do that. Crawford again, flashy, eye-catching. And again, blocking off Burns' work. And Burns has had success, it's, it's been single punches, they're the ones you remember. I can't ever remember Ricky Burns really putting this fellow under any kind of sustained pressure. He responds so well to a challenge, Crawford. I'm just surprised that he's so readily forced onto the defence of Ricky, you know, getting the hands up, getting into that shell on the ropes. You know, not throwing back. See the tape just coming loose on Ricky's glove. Uh, reaching with long, wide punches again, not prepared to get up close and shorten the punches. That's what's needed here. Get close and short, little short, straight punches. Crawford's boxing like a man who feels he doesn't have to do any more than he's doing. When boxed away from home, you would expect him really to put the foot to the floor. Well, you have to leave no doubt at all. Yep, but he's, he's not doing that. I, I mean, uh, this kind of boxing has given officials an excuse to see how they like. I mean, these little pops, OK. Ricky's missing, he's doing nothing. But Crawford certainly hasn't put his stamp on this round or the previous one. Missing again there, Crawford. Oh, nice left hand from Burns, but once again, look at the reaction from Crawford. It's been the story of the fight. Yeah, that is a big surprise, Nick, that Crawford can take it away from him so quickly. Oh, it's every time, Jim, every time he's landed, you thought, that's a good shot, Crawford's responded immediately and just nullified it. Yeah, he just seems able to take it away from Ricky when he has a little bit of success. And the switch from head to body and the pressure staying on here from Crawford, who doesn't look like a man that's gassed to me, not one bit. Well, Crawford is nowhere near as good as I expected him to be. But he's difficult, he's slick enough. And this crowd willing Ricky Burns on. Big smile, a smile of respect from Ricky Burns, who is one of the class acts in British boxing, but is this the last three minutes of his reign as world champion? I'd rather see Ricky come out in a bad mood than a big smile on his face. There's tape all over the place. I mean, that, that was evident the previous round. Really, the referee should have dealt with that in between rounds. And now we can resume this last round. Not been an epic, never really quite caught fire. But again, he's rocked him, he's rocked him. 
and Burns in trouble again and Crawford listening to his corner and saying right let's put on the big finish and I think he might be going to try and stop Burns here that's never happened before but Crawford is going for it Burns catches him with a left but still Crawford pouring it on again one punch Nick puts him totally on the defensive and Crawford not letting go either that was big from Crawford who just looked at his corner as if to say is that what you wanted inside the last two minutes still that uncomfortable look in Ricky's face yeah. A bit more discomfort after those body shots went in from Crawford as well, but Burns digging in again, and then immediately Crawford comes straight back at him. Those hooks around the back of Burns' guard. So hurtful. Well, we saw a little flash from Crawford there. That was classy stuff, that was quality. Haven't seen an awful lot of it. separating him again now once again Burns being bullied back to the ropes comes off this time but can't find anything meaningful again just gritting his teeth pulling faces again Nick pulling faces he's never looked comfortable in there tonight never last 30 seconds and Burns again looking very very tired and Crawford sensing it well the American camp said we need this last round they've got that emphatically no question but it's going to come down to the judges from Hungary Philippines and Mexico how do they see it well, now we see it Jim I well, know the guys sitting behind us see it and Can't it's almost impossible to make a case for Ricky Burns Can't tonight. Make a case for Ricky in this one. No, he's been again. hesitant, he's been uncomfortable, he's had a successes here and there. But no, I think he's just glad to get through it. Big smiles from both men at the end of that one. Burns is celebrating, of course. Crawford thinks he's done enough. The lift from Billy Nelson, who's done such a great job with Ricky Burns over the years. But is this Omaha's first born and raised world champion? Jim, your card leaves it in no doubt at all. Yep, they just seem to take charge. You know, at the stage in the fight when I expected Ricky to take over. But all the way through, I felt that Ricky had problems. I'm trying to even see the way he's drinking the water there, if, he's, if his jaws working properly. But there was something missing from him all the way through. I can make a case for the scores being tighter. Some of the earlier rounds when Ricky was coming forward, you could have given him the benefit of the doubt, but too often the play was completely taken away from him. He backed to the ropes, cupped his hands up, tight defence as though he was protecting the jaw, and too often we saw this. We didn't see him do this to the other guy, and that's the big difference in, in, in almost every round. We saw Crawford dishing out like this, we never really saw Ricky doing that. We saw Ricky landing a couple of punches here and there, but we never saw him bully the action, take control of the, the fight, whereas uh, Crawford did it several times. And when it mattered as well, when it looked like Burns was going to do something, Crawford always managed to find a response. Well, he's been a world champion, Ricky Burns, since September 2010, but is he about to become a former world champion? Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of championship boxing, the judges' scorecards read Zoltan and Yedi scores a contest 116 112. Lopez scores a contest 117 111. And Lagambe scores a contest 116 112. All three judges are in favour of the winner and the new yep, there it is, Terence Crawford. Wow. Great <laughs> champion of the world.
A moment of history for the American. Omaha, the first Omaha Terrace, born and raised Bob world forever. champion. It was thoroughly deserved. It was highly efficient. And, and there can be no doubt general, about any of those three cards. No arguments tonight, none. I feel so sorry for Ricky Burns because if you lose a world Joe title, Lennon. you know, you want to have, you know, in your shield, you want to produce your best performance, but the other guy was better than you. That wasn't the case tonight. Ricky never really got into the fight.